like now to uh, pass this over to Danny Glover. Thank you, thank you, my sister. Thank you, Margaret. I, uh, I really appreciate uh, being here with, with my friends and my brothers and sisters here as we not only support the release of Levinsky, Pierre, Antoine, but also we have an opportunity once again to draw attention to what is happening in Haiti. Uh, often we, what happens in Haiti is under the radar screen. Even though we who are in the progressive community understand and keep a watchful eye on what is happening with Haiti, the rest of our communities around the country and often in the world do not get this information. The tragedy of the 2004 coup d'etat against the Lavalas government, against President Aristide, is still re resonating in the lives of the Haitian people. Even though our, our friend, our, our friend, our friend Preval, Rene Preval, has been elected president, he has had little power to do to do what is just in the country itself. The, the UN force that is there, headed by the Brazilians, and we honor, and I, I'll say this underline, we honor the presence of the Brazilian forces there. Because we think there's a possibility that the world can see what is happening in Haiti with their presence there. So we honor their presence. But we need them to do more. We need, we need them to call on all their resources to make sure that our brother Levinsky is placed in the hands, in, in, in safe hands, and that he is returned to his family, returned to his community, where he does so much work. I had a chance, several ch chances to meet my brother Levinsky while in Haiti. First of all, just recently in, uh, in 2006, during the presidential inauguration. And I was, I was just a, amazed at the work that he has done around Haiti, around Haiti, during the time when bandits were running around Haiti, committing, committing all kind of havoc, who were disrupting, attempting to disrupt the, the electoral process, who were attempting to, 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 uh, to undermine the, the, the peace and dignity of the Haitian people. Here's Levinsky doing the work in communities, doing the work in organizing communities and organizing people. He is so a vital part of, of the way we envision the new Haiti, the new Haiti that comes out of the ashes of the destructive and destabilizing coup d'etat in 2004. And we need him out there, along with all those who are out there, who, who are out there doing that work. We know that his kidnap was an attempt to, to elicit fear within the Haitian people. That we could we could we we kidnap one of their leading spokesmen, one of their leading organizers, someone who is passionate about justice in the Haitian community, and once he's kidnapped, then it strikes fear in the rest of the rest of the population. We will denounce that kidnapping and denounce those who hold him at this particular moment. We want him back, we need him back, and it's, it's, it's upon all of us in the, in the world, all of us who are concerned citizens, all of us, of us who are in governance, to be a part of this rescue mission. Because in essence, not only are we we're not singly rescuing, rescuing Levinsky, Pierre Antoine, we're rescuing and playing our part in making the sure that the Haitian people themselves receive justice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.